I don't, I'm not, I don't feel stressed at all, which is very unusual. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's cause I'm here at the farm, you know? <laughs> as soon as I pull in the driveway, it's like blood pressure goes down. Well, it's, it's not only the physical beauty of the place, it's just knowing what the riding has done for me here and also the people here. It's like a community that I found. Even though you come once a week and you say hello, it just feels like, ah. And Katie Sherman once said to me, she said, this farm is your home. I'll never forget when she said that, I was like, and that's how I feel. So it just feels like uh, you're coming home. So I came because I was, um, well, I have mental health problems, have had all my life, um, among them low-level depression, anxiety, and I was caretaking for my father, who was very ill and ended up dying two months after I came here. And I came here to um, alleviate that, and um, it, it worked. It was just a place of the occupational therapy helped me with relaxation techniques, visualization techniques, and, um, just the place was so welcoming and so nice. It became a respite for me, a once a week respite in a uh, upsetting world at the time. Um, I think having something, first of all, pleasurable in your life. So when you're in therapy for depression, let's say, um, which I am and always have been, um, they'll say to you, you know, what do you do that's pleasurable and often a lot of times that list is pretty short if you think about it you know it could be reading it could be whatever so I think um, having something that's just a joy and a pleasure to look forward to every week um, you relax they teach you how to relax on a horse the more you do that, the more it seeps into regular life. So even though I'm really at this point, I would say taking lessons, it's still, it's still a form of really good therapy. I would recommend it to anybody. And plus I think, you know, the whole point of the therapy here, especially for the young kids that I see, you're doing the same thing you'd be doing in a, like a therapist's office, a OT or physical therapist. How much more fun is it when you come and you're on a horse? sort of get the same benefits. Uh, it's the same type of therapy, it's just on a horse in a beautiful setting. So, you know, you're gonna get better faster, I think. Yeah, so, so when you're in the office, you're sitting in a chair, you're looking at somebody and you're, you're talking um, and that helps. There's something about actually being on a horse, right, in a beautiful setting and you have your therapist there and they're doing essentially the same things they do in an office, but automatically you're more relaxed, you're happy about being there. You're not always happy going to an office, right? But you're happy when you're on a horse and then you see other, I love watching the kids because a lot of the patients who are children, watching them, you're sometimes in, in their arena with children at the same time but I think the difference here is are, are the people the difference is the people they're um, they're welcoming and nice I, I would say to somebody if you're maybe you like me if you've been in treatment for decades which is which is good I'm glad I am I hope I always will be but maybe you want to make a little more progress because sort of the office setting you know everything gets stale after a while right if you want to make a little bit of progress, I would try the hypotherapy. Hypotherapy for older people and in particular for mental health problems, I think it's huge. I think it would be a huge tool to have for somebody.